we're going to think a little bit about directions. Um, and what I have here is a compass. I'm going to mark it on. So if north is up here, um, pointing up, then I can mark on the rest of my compass directions. So north, east, south, west. You might have some way to remember that. Never eat shredded wheat or naughty elephant squirt water. And in the middle, I have um, this direction is halfway between north and east. So that's northeast. This one's halfway between south and east. That's southeast, south and west, southwest and north and west, northwest. So I'm always saying um, the north or south first. But sometimes I need to be more accurate than that. If I'm in a boat um, lost at sea and trying to describe to someone where I am, telling them that I'm kind of, well, I'm kind of northwest from, from some point I can see on the coast, is helpful, but it's not, I'm not going to get help to you as quickly as you would like. So we need to have a consistent way to be able to describe where we are so that someone can find us and so that we can find someone else. And what we have to do that are bearings, three figure bearings. And they're called three figure bearings because we're always going to have three digits in them. So let's see how they work. A bearing is measured from north. So what we have to do is we have to imagine we're standing on our boat we have our compass and we know what, where north is. I'm gonna put north straight up in my diagram here. So I'm standing at north. I want to turn through an angle to face the point I'm describing. But there's two ways I could turn. I could turn this direction or I could turn that direction. Again, we have to agree, we have to be consistent. And so we've agreed um, that we're going to turn clockwise. We're going to turn like the clock. So we're going to measure this angle. That's the angle we're going to turn in. And we'll measure that angle, and that's the bearing we would quote. So we'd quote, I don't know, maybe 100, 130 degrees would be the bearing I might quote there. Get my protractor out and measure it. So when I'm measuring bearings, I'm measuring, three, I'm measuring an angle, but there are three things I want to make sure. I'm gonna make sure, first of all, that I start from north. North is zero degrees. So on my compass, north is zero degrees. The second thing I want to make sure is, is that I measure in a clockwise direction. Measure in a clockwise direction. So I'm always going this way. So south would be 180 degrees. Um, east would be 90 degrees. I'm going to come back to that in a second. West would be 270 degrees. But the third thing I want to make sure of is that I always quote three digits. So always have three figures. If I come back to my 90 degrees, it obviously doesn't have three numbers at the moment. So I need to precede it with a zero to make sure I'm quoting three figures. So when we're measuring bearings, make sure we start from north, we measure clockwise, and that we always quote three figures. Okay, Mary, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus two x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done.